The following Saturday, five young daredevils assembled, ready to take flight. And the day was perfect. The ramp was constructed of the finest components. <laughs> we had two car ramps placed side by side with a couple of milk crates on top of that. We had a slightly warped piece of plywood and a few bricks at the base to keep it all anchored. I'm pretty sure Hollywood stuntmen were using the same materials back then. We rolled up to the starting spot and the first kid takes off for the ramp. He jumps but goes off center and lands at the right, just clipping the bush. When the second kid takes off, he decides to abort his mission before even reaching the ramp. The third contestant goes and actually clears the bush. But when he lands, both of his feet slip off the pedals. He nut crunches on that middle bar <laughs> so hard, lets out a blood curdling scream and instantly becomes a spectator for the rest of the event. We laughed at him too. The fourth jumper goes, clears the bush easily and lands perfectly on the other side. But he can't stop fast enough and slams into a car in the driveway next door. <laughs> Amateurs. Last but not least is moi. My parents are out front now and the rest of the kids are parked and waiting. I'm in the zone. I picture a jump so epic that it should be on the front of a Wheaties cereal box. I decided to build anticipation by going through a series of poses. And I end it all with the double biceps. I rock it off from two houses away in the middle of the street. Pedaling as fast as I can, I whip into the driveway, headed straight for the ramp. Perhaps a little too fast because my right foot slips from the pedal and the bike wobbles. But I recovered. I recovered just in time to hit the ramp. And it shifts.